Thank you very much. Joining me now on the program is the Assistant Minister for Immigration, Alex Hawke. Uh, thanks very much for your time. I want to start with the broader question, political question of the week, when you're focusing, you should be focusing on workplace relations, you're focusing on uh, another uh, success of the coalition, one of the biggest successes of the last 20 years, and it's been treated by Labor as, as a weak point for you because the, the Prime Minister hasn't come out definitively and said, I won't allow an increase of, of these uh, lever action shotguns into, into this country. Well, look, the Prime Minister has been very definitive. These are John Howard's laws, and the laws are still in place. Nobody's proposing to weaken the National Firearms Agreement or change the National Firearms Agreement. And I think in Parliament this week you've seen Prime Minister Turnbull at his finest, being very strong in defence of John Howard's laws, um, indicating to the public that they, yeah, they can have full confidence in this government's approach to gun regulation. It's been Liberal governments that have strongly regulated firearms in this country for the last 20, 30 years, and that is going to remain in place. We have a ban in place on this new type of shotgun, specifically so the states and Commonwealth can work this out in the proper regulatory framework. And yeah, but why, why not at least tell the Parliament, uh, as Labor is demanding, what his position will be, what the coalition, what the, the Commonwealth is taking to the table. Well, Labor has used this as a distraction from what is a very important debate about lawlessness in our construction sector. And they have used it as a distraction. And I think it reflects on Bill Shorten and the Labor Party more than it does on anyone else, that they're prepared to use uh, firearms, they're prepared to use the circumstances of the Martin Place siege. The reason there is a review in, of the National Firearms Agreement is because it was ordered after the Martin Place siege and that is a proper function of policing and of gun regulation in Australia to see wh whether we have adequate and appropriate regulations. Uh, but So they know that. They know all of this. Bill Shorten knows all of this. He's prepared to use guns as a wedge to get out of his problems with lawlessness um, in, in the building construction sector. What about the deal that, that was allegedly done according to David Lionhelm, not so according to the Prime Minister? Eric Abet says both those positions could be, could be consistent. Well, absolutely. I saw what David Lionhelm said, and he said also this is a very normal part of government. It's, it's a day-to-day -day activity where people come and speak to the Senate and the way the Senate is constructed. Now, you have to go to the crossbench senators to talk to them about what is important to them. The Labor Party does it, the Greens do it, and we do it in government as well. And we have to try and work through government. But the Prime Minister is absolutely crystal clear, and it's the same message in Parliament, out of Parliament, in front of the cameras. There will be no change to the National Firearms Agreement or gun regulation. Alex Hawke, uh, thanks for your time. Apologies, we've got to cut it short. We've got to go live to uh, Las Vegas.